Hello friends, myself Vaishnavi. I am going to explain you the topic static members in C++. Before entering into the concept, let us see the definition of static member. When the whole class shares only one resource or parameter or variable, then it is said to be a static member. Let us take some real life examples to understand this concept. Current, benches, water, systems. Here, one resource is used by many people in college. That means only one resource is shared by all the students in college. Let's see another example in real life. Television cooler, fan, refrigerator. These resources will be used by the family members in home. Television is not separately to each one and cooler also not separately to each one. Fan and refrigerator also one resource used by all the family members in home. It is not separately given. Let's get some more details about our concept. Static data member is a data variable which belongs to the entire class but not confined to the particular object. Here, confined means not reflected or not bounded to a particular object. It reflects in the same manner to all the objects. Memory is allocated only once to entire class and all the class members will share the copy of the memory. Next one. Static members can be accessed without any object because it is a class member. Static member is a class member. In this concept, some points are to be remembered. Let us see what are the points. In this concept, we should remember the word share. It is a variable which is declared with the keyword static a static member is shared by all the objects of a class when it is said to be static then it is a class in a class we can have many number of objects this is a structure of static member here we have created a class named with bsc static integer water here, water is a common resource shared to all the students. Integer rule number means rule number of a person or student or object. String name. String means group of characters. Group of characters creates a person's name. Integer marks means marks of a student in the class. Now let's develop a program on static member. Void main from here the program will start. Here we have created class BSC in that B1 is a student or object we have taken. We have entered some values and properties of B1 here. Properties will be same to all students but values will be different. Now water is a common property to all not only to b1 it is same for all students it is a shared property but not individual property even though the value of water is 5 liters it will reflect the same to all other objects also water is not confined only to b1 but to all